As a pool player and especially coach, I noticed one thing that many players do wrong when playing shots with spin on the cue ball. And the mind-blowing thing is that they could actually get better results with less effort. So what do you think is it that beginners could do differently? I've prepared two example shots where you can see what I'm going to talk about now. In this situation, we are on a free ball and have to get into a position on the 4 ball where we can go up table towards the 5 again. Since we don't have enough angle, we have to follow the ball with a touch of left spin on the cue ball. This is not easy because we're playing with inside English from a far distance to the object ball. We have to go a long way from the cue ball's position to the free ball and then another full table length to our desired position, that's 1.5 table lengths. This obviously would mean that we have to hit very hard to get enough action on the cue ball, but see what happens when I'm doing that. I got nothing out of the cue ball here and that happened because my muscles tightened up and I accidentally didn't hit the cue ball where I intended to. Here I got enough topspin on the cue ball, but instead I just missed the shot. This can happen because of the increased deflection by the spin you add or because again your muscles tighten up. So why don't we just try to hit the cue ball just easier with a more relaxed stroke. We just concentrate on to hit it nice and soft and to follow through the cue ball. Do you see the difference? When comparing both shots, you can really see the difference on what happens. On our softer shot, the cue ball hasn't even reached the side pocket compared to our harder shot where we already hit the free ball. Also notice that I had more follow through here, so all we need to do is to take some power off and execute an easier and way more controlled shot. In this situation, we remove the 4 ball, so now we have to get from the 3 ball all the way up table to the 5 ball. Our plan is to get the cue ball towards this point on the table, where we can easily go to the 6 ball again. We have to hit low with right spin on the cue ball and then it should go along this path. And again, it's a difficult situation because we are forcing the cue ball into the opposite direction of its natural roll. Again, on this try I got nothing out of the cue ball. And here I missed the ball because of the same two reasons from the previous shot. Now I'm using less power again and now I can concentrate a lot better on actually hitting the right spot on the cue ball and this will help to get the closest to what I've imagined before. Again you can see the difference when we overlay both shots. It's just so important to realize that more power doesn't necessarily mean a better action on the cue ball. Now I have a very good chance to run the last remaining balls from here. I'm just drawing the cue ball to get to the 6 ball. And here I'm doing by the way something that you should never do. I'm aiming low first and then I'm changing my mind while down on the shot and I don't stand up. Always stand up if you're changing something. I ended up perfectly on the 7 ball however and I just have to follow the ball one last time. Let's summarize the advantages of an easier stroke real quick. Much power lets your muscles tighten up, less power means a more relaxed stroke and therefore more precision. You will hit the right spot on the cue ball more often and when using spin the deflection will be smaller which makes it easier to aim and to actually hit the point on the object ball that you're aiming to. Falling through the cue ball does a lot of the job for you. Of course, there are situations where you have to do both, hit it harder and also follow through. This will then look something like this, where we have to go all the way up table to the 5. Now I have to make one important announcement to my subscribers. 
Yes, I'm finally moving into a new apartment where I have enough space to set up my own pool table. That means I will have my own recording studio where I can record high quality lessons with uh, new gear, new material and uh, much more frequently. So this is a huge step for me and of course it's very risky. So if you want to support me, all you have to do is to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button because the bell button informs you every time I upload a new video because currently YouTube isn't showing my videos or offering my videos to a lot of people which makes it really hard for me. One more thing consider to head over to my Patreon page. I talked a few times already about my Patreon page, but it's really interesting. I upload Grillster, there are bonus videos, podcasts, my playing ability test that you can do that I introduced a while ago. Um, you can become my student, I can analyze your videos and so on. And I'm also planning for my new studio to do live sessions with my patrons where they can watch me on the table, they can ask questions in the chat, I'm explaining things on the table, talking with them, so it's a, yeah, a really big thing, so of course it costs something, but I'm not begging for money here, you get um, something nice in return, so um, if you're interested, just head over to Patreon. Okay guys, I really hope you've learned something new in this video. A thank you goes out to my sponsors and my patrons, of course. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson, take care.